Hey everybody, I wanted to introduce you to the Wellcraft 25 that we just completely redid with Seazone and Masterable. This is an older boat and it's a passion project for a father and son customer, which I think is just really awesome. And instead of uh, tossing this boat and getting a different one, they wanted to go all out on the electrical side and bring it up to modern spec. And then they're also getting a new uh, outboard put on it. So we did the electrical. Now it's gonna go over to the outboard guys, but I wanted to walk you through what we did here. So first and foremost, this boat has a uh, 12 volt MLI Ultra Master Volt uh, 12 3000 lithium battery has the house bank. This gives 3,000 watt hours of power on the house side. You can see how small that is. It's about a group 27 that's a little taller. Um, and it has tons of power capabilities since it's lithium iron phosphate. That um, connects to the inverter charger that this boat has. So now they can run a microwave. They have the ability to connect Starlink and they want to run a little Keurig sometimes when they're out there fishing. So they've got full inverter up to 2000 watts. This is also a 100 amp battery charger. Uh, you can see that inverter feeds a little AC panel here for short power in and then we're going out to two outlets. The first one here is GFCI uh, and then we daisy chain from there to an outlet that's up on the top of the console which I'll show you in a second with weatherproofing covers. Uh, every time we do an inverter Obviously, big class T fuse that's rated for the inverter size. And then we also do uh, an emergency inverter disconnect switch on the DC side. So if something happens, because this is a 24-hour device, you can shut the inverter down very quickly with that master disconnect and not impact the, uh, the house side. The um, MLI Ultras have a safety relay on top. You can see the big blue C safety relay. That's controlled by the battery itself. In case there's a problem, the battery can shut itself offline. Uh, but we program it so that of course there won't be problems you can see we've got 24 hour power here on a big 600 amp bus bar we got switch power on this big 600 amp bus bar there is a battery parallel that's special for this boat because it only has two batteries on it and this little battery actually can crank small engines so we're going to be able to allow the customer to do that but that's very very special circumstances which is why the switch is kind of buried and then of course we have a master house switch, which should be on when they're using the boat. And then we have C-Zone. So we have a Control X Plus, which has 16 circuits controlling lights and fish boxes and pumps and all the stuff that's on this boat. And then for higher amperage, we have a contact six plex over here that's doing stereo amplifiers and other loads there. We have another contact six plus here. Um, all of these are maxed out. And so the entire boats, all those are controlled on C-Zone except for the windlass, just to keep pricing down. Didn't make sense to put that on C-Zone. Then we have a nice JL uh, six channel stereo amplifier here and some 24 hour circuits like NEMA 2000. And then we have the NEMA 2000 backbone. And then we have this DC to DC charger here which allows the lithium battery to be charged when the alternator is running on the outboard and that start battery is being charged. So that way lithium is totally isolated but still accepting charge when the alternator is running. And then when the alternator is not running like right now, it goes into standby mode and just waits for the alternator to turn back on. So a really tidy system. I'm going to zoom out here. And uh, you can see still tons of room in here to put a cooler. They want to put a little microwave, a trash can is going to go in that spot. Tons of room on this wall. So a lot went into this little back of the console wall. Now I'm going to show you how to use the boat from the helm. All right, we're on the Wellcraft 25 that's gotten a complete electrical facelift. I want to show you the functionality here. It's not entirely done because it's got to go get an outboard. So there's some holes in the dash, but I wanted to show you what we did on the electrical side. So the 100% of the boat is controlled by C-Zone. You can see there are no rocker switches besides one for the windlass. And then um, all the information for, uh, for Yamaha. Other than that, there's no rocker, no toggle, no nothing here. So you control the whole boat right from this little five inch screen. We're in unattended mode. So we're going to go into cruising mode. Boom, C-Zone takes control. You see the Simrads are firing up. Uh, you can see we've got some lighting on. We've got our ability to do everything we want. Fire the horn. There we go. Wash down pumps, underwater lights. This is all the quick access information. Oh, we got the stereo going up. Then uh, 
We've got some more quick access here. You can see inverter charger control here. We've got power actually connected, which I'm going to disconnect for this video. And then you can see power just disconnected on the AC inside, but we have an inverter so we can still do output. We're gonna go up to the Simrads and you can see the Simrads also have C-Zone control. So we can go into modes and we can go individual circuit control right here in C-Zone, right here on the Simrads, all connected through NEMA 2000. So that's really cool. And of course the Simrads are still gonna be your standard MFD, you know, chart plotting, radar, all that fun stuff. So he can do control on the little five inch screen. He can do control on the Simrads. He can do whatever makes sense there. Uh, you can go into these sub menus and we can look at what's going on. We've got start battery voltage. We've got what's going in and out of the DC DC charger. We've got the house battery. I just disconnected power so we can see what's going on there because it's all integrated into the battery. The battery is telling us information, voltage, amperage, state of charge, amp hours remaining, the temperature of the battery. And then once this gets down to 99%, it'll start to calculate how much time we have left. I will show you an example of that right now. I've got a heat gun connected to an outlet that was put into the boat for the inverter. I'm gonna turn that heat gun on. You can see the crazy amount of power. The heat gun pulls, 118 amps right there. That's very quickly gonna drop the battery all through the inverter. I'll let that run for a minute or two, and then we'll come back to look at the time remaining. Uh, we can see the inverter AC out. On the AC side, we're putting out 10 amps AC, which is times 10 typically in a 12 volt system. It's gonna be uh, 122 plus the other stuff that's running. All right, we're at 99% right now. So you can see time remaining, one hour and 47 minutes of full heat gun. That is a lot. So let me turn off the heat gun, go down to kind of some a normal level. So now we're at 11, 10 amps coming out of the battery. You can see that time's gonna to start to climb based on uh, what's running in the boat. It's gonna to continue to calculate. Um, I do have a laptop plugged in, there we go. So now the boat is in like a normal use. We don't have any live bolt pumps on, we're on a trailer right now. But we've got 20 hours of runtime now with our Simrads on, the stereos running, um, lights are on, 20 hours on a single small lithium iron phosphate battery. So the, that information is so valuable when you're offshore and you can trust that time that you can make decisions based on what you're going to do while you're out boating. Now we can go into control. We can control everything that we want to turn on. We got all our underwater lights, all of our deck lights, anchor lights, bait pumps, there's multiple on this boat, bait tank light, all this good stuff. We can turn the inverter charger off here as well. Uh, we can turn off individual screens. You can see the stuff that's turned on because we're in cruising mode, automatically turned on. Um, USB outlets, VHF, all that stuff is on. Wash down pumps, quick access to wash down your, the blood and guts. And I wanted to show you, this is cool. You can see it here. We've got inverter charger AC in limit, but I, the favorite screen I think does a better job right here. So we can control how much AC we're drawing into the plug. Since this is connected to a regular extension cord, we have it limited at 15 amps. But if you were gonna actually connect to a dock, you could bump this all the way up to 30 and, um, and charge your battery even faster. So I love that function because based on where you're connected, you can control it so that you don't accidentally uh, blow breakers on shore power. So that's kind of the control aspect of it. I am going to go into dock unattended mode. Boom, all the screens shut down and we're gonna walk away. But before that, we have it so all the deck lighting, courtesy lighting, flood lighting, all stay on for two minutes when we go walk away. So that way we can get off the boat, we can see what we're doing if it's late. And then uh, when we are halfway down the dock, all these lights will automatically shut down and away we go. And the next time we come to the boat, we just start that process all over. So you can see how easy that is, how intuitive it is with C-Zone and Mastervolt combined. And then just the immense amount of power there with Mastervolt lithium. Really cool project. 
really happy we did this for a father's son. Now they get to use this boat for a long time and have a great time fishing on it. Give us a call if you want to talk about doing something like this on your boat. Thank you.